I'm gonna show you how I got a $65,000 credit limit on my credit card. So before closing down your credit cards, you might want to do this trick. So I had a card with Chase, and as you can see here, it is closed. I recently had to pay an annual fee, and I was like, why am I paying this annual fee? I never use this card. And so I was like, you know what? I just should close this because I'm not using it. But there was one problem. It had a $51,000 limit on it. So if we look at my statement from a month ago, you can see that right here, I have a $51,000 credit limit available. And in the last month, I've had $6 in new purchases. I think that's from like uh, iTunes or something. But closing that card, I would lose out on that available credit and having a high available credit uh, just really helps with your credit score and credit utilization. So I have a, a high limit, but I don't spend that much. So that credit utilization stays very low. So I wanted to recapture that. And so I don't know if this works anywhere else, um, but it works for Chase in the US. And so I'll show you what I did. So this was the $51,000 that was uh, closed. And so from here, I just, before I closed it, I got all my reward points. And then I told them to transfer the uh, credit limit to another credit card. And that credit card was my other Chase card, which is this Southwest Plus card. And as you can see, I have now a $64,000 uh, available balance. My current balance is only 500. And so like less than, what is that? 1% less than that. And so very easy uh, to keep doing this. And so anytime I have a credit card that I open to score some points or uh, a reward, I'll ask them to close it after the uh, renewal. I'll get my bonus and then I'll take that credit limit and I'll transfer it to this card, ever increasing my credit limit. So you might be wondering, what's the point of having a high interest or high limit on a credit card? Well, there's a few things. Uh, there's quite a few things actually. So what I like to do is utilize a cash balance transfer. So I could essentially make a large purchase in cash, then do a 0% balance transfer to a credit card for zero, 18 months. So like this one, this Discover It Chrome has a 0% APR on balance transfers. Uh, Simplified has, what is this? Till 2026, so that's 21 months. So if you think about that, if I have $61,000 credit limit and I open up another card that has a 0% interest credit card limit, I could do a few things. I could buy, say, another car, rent it out, have the cash flow from that car, pay down the 0% interest, um, or roll that into more cars uh, until the 18 months and then uh, obviously capture cash flow and then pay that down or just do another balance transfer. I could roll and use that money into a down payment on a house. Obviously, uh, that is an option. Uh, say if I need 40,000, I have a 61,000 balance. I can pull out 40,000, uh, put it towards a down payment on a $200,000 house to 20% uh, down and then use my uh, balance transfer to transfer out. So, so many different ways, obviously, uh, rolling in on 100% uh, finance isn't the smartest idea for cash flow from my experience, but uh, you definitely, there is a lot of benefits of having a high, high interest or high limit credit card. Uh, and just overall, just your credit health, because if you have high util or low utility and high limits, then uh, your credit utilization is just going to be very, very low. And that allows you, if you, obviously if you don't spend a lot, and then that allows you to keep your credit score high, which then gives you a better ranking, uh, better options for credit cards, loans, uh, points, everything. So that's it guys. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one.